Hey guys, this is Granis. Welcome to the first episode of I Suck at Final Fantasy XI. This is the first episode of the Scholar series. You can see that I'm here leveling Scholar into Dunes because I recently unlocked Scholar and I'm attempting to level it. I'll have like a different I Suck at Final Fantasy XI series for all the various jobs I play and where I'm leveling them at. But anyway, I'm a Scholar level 12. I do, uh, in fact, level to 15, uh, 13 in this video, I might add. However, I wound up in a, oddly, in a 16 sync party here. This is why I'm at the, uh, camp here fighting damselflies and clippers. Not cli clippers, but snippers. If it's not a clipper yet, it'll be a clipper in a few levels when Koopam comes along. It's a big blue crab, go kill it. But anyway, about my party maker. I am a scholar with a white mage sub. I currently have light arts active. In our party, we also have a dancer nen by the name of Shenwoo. Our group is led by someone with a mentor icon who, who's wearing some pretty cool armor. A, a warrior monk by the name of Legendary Hero. He is our tank. We got, as I said, we got Chenmu, the Dancer Nin, who is helping out with healing. We also have uh, Furion, who is a white mage, who's level 16. However, he does not have a sub job. I suspected he's a new player. Um, and we also have a Dragoon Warrior by the name of... Sif? Am I pronouncing that right? Well, anyhow, um, and I believe we had one other person in the party whose name I'm forgetting. But, anyway, you can see me there right now using, uh, one of my scho scholar stratagems, Penuri. I did that to get a low-cost banish off on the damselfly before I get back to back appealing. I don't know if my backup healing is actually helping here, since we have both a dancer and a white mage. Uh, I kind of felt like maybe I should have went dark art so I could persimony big nu uh, some black mage nukes, well, some black magic nukes. But as you'll see in a minute here, I I was actually right to stay in light arts. I don't know if it'll show me in the video, but at this level, the scholars do get an access to uh, one more strategy outside of Pinuri, which reduces the uh, mana cost of your next white magic spell. And if I was in Dark Arts, I would have Persimony instead, which does the same thing with black magic. Um, I do have one more at my current level, which is uh, for light arts, and it's called Addendum White. Which gives me specifically access to uh, the status curing Nuss spells. If I was to use it, I would get access to Poisona. Uh, I believe the Damselflies do poison the group at one point, and I use a Dundamoite to try and help out with that, but I don't know if I got footage of it or not. Um, as you can see, I'm still very new to the game. Uh, my white mage might be 30, but uh, I'm very new to Scholar, as you can probably see. You see, the trickiest thing for me in groups is multitasking. When I'm just backup healing like this, I try to multitask a little, and it's tricky. Because I know I can hit the F keys to target any of my party members, and it's pretty simple when I'm playing white mage. But... When I'm playing Scholar, it's a bit tricky because I also have to because I'm backup healing at best because Scholars can't really main heal in Dunes too well, and plus we already have a white ma we have a white mage and a dancer, so maybe it wasn't as necessary as I thought. But later you'll see that maybe I was right about staying in Light Arts. But anyway, what I'm saying is that sometimes I have a hard time. Uh, getting the mob selected because it takes for uh, it takes too long if I'm just trying to tab to the mob we're fighting or sometimes I will try just to click on the mob so I can get at the mob faster but it's hard when all our melee and tanks are surrounding the mob so if anybody has another quick way to target the nearest hostile en enemy I would love to hear it because that would really help me 
because you know uh, we didn't have a red mage in our group, so I was I was trying to get enfeebles up as best as I could. Um, I would try and paralyze and dia if I had time and mana to spare, but sometimes I didn't get a chance. When the mob gets low, I would go ahead and use Puneri and throw Banish at it to help bring it down, and that way Banish wouldn't eat up that much MP. Now you see here, this is why I thought it was a good idea to stay in the Light Arts. Uh, we got some Damselfly, uh, we ended up getting two Damselflies, I believe twice in this video. You, uh, you might have saw it earlier too, but this is the second time it happened, I do believe. I may be mistaken, I may be misremembering. As for the other party members, Legendary Hero really seems to know what he's doing. Uh, he, uh, when, before we synced, he actually had a mentor flag up, and judging by his gear, he must have been, he must be a really good and experienced player. He really knows what he's doing, and I, I appreciate having a main tank like uh, him helping us. The others, though, we do have a white mage who doesn't have a sub job yet. Now, he's a new player, he's learning just as much as I am. And the thing I don't get it here is safe. I, I get what safe is trying to do with provoking the mob off of Legendary Hero to try and conserve his HP a little bit. But he's main job Dragoon, and Dragoons don't aren't really known too well for being able to take a hit. At least at these levels, it seems. Uh, any Dragoons out there with Warrior Subjects can correct me if I'm wrong on that. And it wasn't that bad since we have essentially three healers. So I guess it wasn't that big of a deal, but... That's just the thing, is that the people who are out there with a warrior sub-job, please understand the in intricacies of what spamming provoke means. Uh, all too often when I was uh, wobbling white mage in Kufam Island, I would run into situations where... We would ha just grab whatever tank has warrior sub job, that'll work. No, it doesn't. Legendary Hero is a great time, but... Uh, I, I had a, I once had a Dragoon main tank in Qfum, is what I'm trying to say. Also, I do apologize for the frame rate drop in the video, as you might have seen here. Um, and that was uh, something on my end. It was uh, a program I still had running. I do apologize for that. And, uh, we're sort of getting to the end of the video. I did level to 13 in this party. I don't know if I got footage of it or not. But, uh, I did level to 13 here. And... I think this is the last fight I recorded. All in all, this party wasn't bad, you know... It's the Dunes, um, it's here to teach new people, even if it's by a trial by frickin' fire. Um, it was really odd getting into a 16 sync party when I'm pre uh, when I was initially three level uh, four levels below the sink and now, uh, and before I left I was three levels below the sink. And I do appreciate them letting me come along and... I hope you guys enjoyed this first uh, kind of commentary on uh, on uh, uh, parties in Final Fantasy XI. I hope you guys will continue watching the I Suck at Final Fantasy XI series for all the classes I'm going to make episodes for. This has been Scholar Episode 1, and I'm Scholar 13 now, and I have a decent amount of buffer, and I'm very happy. I'll see you guys next time.